Happy Saturday viewers and welcome to what I think could be a, uh, a very interesting and fun filled day. That's uh, Yogi just hitting a four beautifully um, through backward point right off the middle of the bat um, and uh, yeah uh, all good. Rory Brooks there with a slightly more conventional shot behind square. Lovely. Dano Robinson bowling up the hill. Stalwart of the club. Always get a good length with Dano. First 11 are playing away at Cobham, a practice game down there. And for Covid reasons more than anything else, uh, I'm going to be majoring on, on uh, home games until the Covid restrictions get lifted. But this is just going to be such a such a great fun game. Lots of new players here. So anyone that's entered the fantasy uh, the fantasy league at Sanderstead, details below if you uh, want to find out more. This is a good chance to have a look at some of the new players. Rory Brooks here, looking absolutely magnificent. He's in as a keeper, and he's a very very good one too. Um, and the great Yogi at the other end. So Dano bowling up the hill. He's in the fantasy as a bowler. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Oh, trademark Yogi. I need to run for that. Ooh, bit of life. Ooh, what an absolutely magnificent shot there from Yogi. Glorious. It's 49 for none, 10 overs gone. Sonny Reese has come into the attack. Ryan Brotherton there, keeping wicket. Had an amazing season last year in his debut season. Really, really helped the twos to win that championship. First fumble of the season there from Harris, but it didn't cost anything. That's good. Definitely played there, Yogi. Fast outfield. Now Nathan Fitzpatrick, one of my youngsters, into the attack. Right on the money. Ooh, and that's... I uh, thought that got him a bit high, but it's, he's got to go. That's uh, Rory. That's the end of a very, very entertaining knock. That's 56 for one. And he's off the mark. No two. Not even to Harris. Look at that. Magnificent. Boomer. Reeling back the years there. Magnificent. Oh, Yogi on the up there. Pierce the gap. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Shot, Jack. That was a shot of a baseball player. Which indeed, I think Jack has been. So uh, we might talk to him about that later. Oh, that's nice. Shot, Jack. A bit straighter that time. Super. Nice. Nice little touch there from Jack. Looking really good. Forcing Yogi to run, and why not? Enjoy it? Yeah, mate. Very good. Good. Good, Another really beautiful, good. beautiful really deft shot there from Jack. Absolutely magnificent. Nice shot, Jack. Oh, another lovely shot from Jack. Flicked. Over mid wicket. Nice. Uh, these two really ticking along beautifully. Shut him. Oh, lovely shot. Uh, one bounce into the side screen. Uh, 109 for one to so 21st over, and Yogi is showing exactly why he's the highest priced batsman in the Fantasy League. He can score goals too. And the village Vittori, Matt Harris, comes into the attack and uh, absolutely on the money straight away. 18 overs left and the score is uh, 122 for one. Beautiful partnership here forming between uh, Jack Dinning facing, looking absolutely magnificent, and Yogi in imperious form, carrying on from last season. Oh, that's uh, hit beautifully across the line. I mean, sometimes cross-batted shots look ugly. That really did look uh, quite stylish and classy. It's the baseball again, I think. Beautiful throw. 
Nathan Fitzpatrick continues. Uh, that's pretty good spell this. It's been excellent line oh, and length. Nathan. Got the only wicket to fall. Maybe an inter-club game, but it's uh, it really is being taken very seriously here. That's a big old, eyeing up a big old six there, I think. Jack and uh, Nathan, straight again, gets his second wicket and the team's second wicket. That's, uh, this is good stuff. Oh, and there we go. Didn't get hold of it, though. Got away with that, Yogi. Bit of right arm military medium here. Um, canal, beautifully pitched up. A little bit of wobble there. Oh, and that's gone up in the air. Boomer can't get there. Oh, he got one hand on it. Magnificent effort. But uh, sadly, it's gone. Unlucky Boomer, unlucky mate. Boomer's all right, nothing hurt with his pride. Oh, that's nice, shot. beautiful shot. Splendid shot, shot no need to run for that. Four Lovely. runs. Oh. Ooh, the miss hit from Yogi. He's definitely on the hunt. Ooh. That's good bowling here from Canal. Skiddy. Making the batsman think. Shot. Solid. Who now finds the edge again? Well, news just in from the first 11 playing a friendly game over at Cobham. Anyone that's uh, thinking about people to pick in the fantasy, that's a lovely shot, one bounce for four. But no, it's six, six. Um, Chris Bowman has just scored 100. Um, it was always going to happen. Anyone that's watched him play even the smaller maps we saw last season can see that he's going to score a lot of runs for us. So. Well batty, Chris. Oh, and that's a magnificent shot from Yogi. That's a big six. Oh, and that's even better. No, it's not. It's uh, still a six. And um, that's 50 for Yogi. Well batted. He marches on. Oh, and that's a big old swing. Yogi looking to get on with it. And... Um, yeah, hit middle stump. Well bowled there from Canal. Deserved a wicket. Bowled really well. On debut, good stuff. John Devaney is uh, is the incoming batsman, and John is sort of come. He's had family. And he's come back. And they've grown up a little bit, and he's come back for a sort of second career. Oh, that could be close. Oh. Oh. Another little edge. Four in the book. But Canal continues, he's moved into the area and uh, joined us. And, oh, that's a magnificent shot. But Canal, I was just about to say, is one of those cricketers that sort of makes things happen. And that's Dorsey, third 11 captain. Couldn't quite reach that one. Oh, this is good bowling here from the, the Boomers 11, keeping, uh, keeping the Keys 11 relatively quiet, but that's uh, just chipped to mid-wicket. No mistake from Jack Coles and that's another wicket for Canal. Done really well. Four down now. Andy Murphy in at six. Another chap that's joined us this season and uh, wow uh, that was an absolutely superb shot. Brilliant. So 176 for four. Six overs left. I was rather thinking that uh, 240 was on the cards at one point. Oh and that's been put down straight through Sonny there. Unlucky. Um, but this uh, bowling's been so good, it's kept them quiet. There we go. Five overs left. Oh, Johnny Duraney hits it right next to me, and that's uh, four runs, one bounce. Oh, super delivery. Well, Jack. Yeah, Jack Cole's there. Off stump. Greg McLean in at seven. Now, Greg, if he. Uh, Connects, it really does go a long way. Ooh, ooh that's out. Yeah, yeah. I have to say the ball didn't really deserve it, but uh, yeah, Johnny missed a straight one there. There we go, last two overs. Oh, and that's uh, clean bold. Pitched it up there, full and straight. It's going to get wickets for you. Super stuff, that's seven down.
keepers. Might go for a second here. Yeah. So last couple. Come on, Greg. Let's go. Well, he's gone and got the old boot on it, Jack. Mark Petman got a little do or die chance. Last ball of the game. First ball for him. What could he do? Scrambler leg by. Half of the course. So, just a little over 200 off the 40 overs for seven. I'll tell you what, that's not as many as I thought it would be. The uh, Boomers team have bowled very, very well there. So we join the game in the fifth over. The score's 25 for one. Uh, and Boomer is giving it a little bit of bishti bashti boshti. I rather like this. As is Ryan Brother to the other end, just did a magnificent six. Um, yeah, it's looking good. He's played freely, can't he? Oh, nice looking shot for yeah. none. Just watch Boomer here. Dan Udall, ex First Eleven captain. And he's gone. He's gone. Well, let's not watch Boomer anymore then. Done for him there. Oh my blimey. Sorry, Booms. Oh, lovely shot. What a lovely on drive that was. Oh, hello. That was a bit of a no ball. Bruv, um, absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Hit it off his pink helmet. Down for four. Ooh, he's middled that. Ooh, lovely shot from Bruv. Big Owen Reese into the attack. 62 for two. Ten overs gone. Boomer 11, way ahead of the run rate, thanks to this uh, enterprising innings from Pinky, but uh, ooh, didn't know much about that one. Oh, and that's gone straight up in the air. Johnny Devaney. It's gone. Good hands here from Rory. Howard Dawes in at five. Third 11 captain. Oh, utility player. Can keep wicket. Bats very well. And can even bowl if, uh, if necessary. Hustles around in the field. Scampering all over the place. Like a whippet between the wickets. Good cricketer. Worth uh, worth looking at for your fantasy team. Oh, look at that. Nearly, nearly gave him the old kiss of death there. And he's got, uh, got four runs with it. Oh, what bowl. Another excellent take from Rory. Quick one. Oh, and Dorsey could be gone there. No, just scraped home. Risky. It's an excellent spell here from Carl. Big going to little Howard. Carve that away. Four runs. Well, whilst this game uh, carries on its way, Jalen's just turned up with a pint of quench direct from the Pilgrim Brewery. It's a nice shot from Bruv, but uh, straight to Greg. So, Jal, how is the brewery? Oh, it's fantastic. It's the first time I've been. I didn't even know it was there. But uh, it's brilliant. Oh, it is super. Rory. Yeah. Lovely guy. Yeah, no, it's superb stuff, and their beer is, uh, well, absolutely excellent. Mm. Quench is the sort of summer, the summer quaffing ale, and, uh, well, quaffing some of it now. Oh, that's Ooh, a Dorsey, is it? Yes, yes, he's been, uh, he's been on fire, the umpire, that was, I think, you know, you called it. Dorsey doesn't like it, but, yeah, it's gone, that's four down, 84 for four now, so 15 overs gone. Oh, that's out. Oh, that might have pitched outside leg. I think it probably pitched outside leg. Oh, he's a tidy keeper. Roar is very good. Very good. Oh. Brothel. Gets away with one there. So, Jal, I'm sure you've been looking at the fantasy. Who would you who would you have on your side? Um, out here. Out here, well, I mean, I think Rory looks like a... 
a tidy keeper and at Dustin three mil, I think oh, it's, man, it's just a steal. Yeah, massively underpriced, um, batted well as well. Yeah, Brav as well, he's always going to score you runs, yeah. take wickets, yeah. um, and he's lightning in the field, so he might get a catch or a run out of two. Yeah, I agree with that. He's looking really good um, as well. Yeah, Yogi as well, he's obviously, a but obviously very Top price, yeah. Um, yep. And actually the umpire at square <laughs> leg at the moment. He's got a few wickets today, so... Yeah, I haven't got him in. Mm. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Pinky. Brilliant. Beautiful. Really picked that up well. Oh, another good take there from Rory. Greg McLean on now. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> another one picked up beautifully there. He does pick up that short ball well. Into the car park. Into a car. The Archbishop just coming out of the score box. What have we got? 108 off 18. Six and over. Four wickets down. Could be interesting. Good keeping. It really was. Ooh, now then. Once again, he really does pick up those short balls very well. Super stop there on the boundary, though. And again, you pull short to uh, Pinky, and he's going to hit you out there all day. Just such good hands. Exhibition stuff. Yes, a little noise, but not off the bat. Shot him, boy. Shot him, boy. That was sexy. Super shot. 76 to win, 18 overs left. Six wickets in hand, and Jack Dinning comes on, which I think is kind of a break, make or break move. That's one bounce four. Ooh, beautifully picked up. Need a wicket. Probably won't get the one with that ball. Catch. Good enough. Ooh, Good enough, uh, Canal. Another four. Bowling. It's a good spell here from Greg. Scores race up to 152 for 416 overs left. Jack Dillon gets another go. So, Bruff, we think, is on 99. It's been a brilliant knock. Absolutely superb. Oh, dear. Hello. And that's um, gifted him a little 100. That's it, Ray! Ray! There we go. Hi, Top one. Ryan. Top one, Pinky. Two silence at 100 today. Top stuff, mate. Pinky it, here and Chris Bowman over at Cobham. The bar's great be great day. You are playing for your place. You're playing, you're playing Lovely shot. And I want you to win us the game. Great partnership, this. Canal is uh, Canal, that's a playing a very, back. very good role here. Supporting Brav and chipping away at the same time. You are playing. Yeah. Shot. Lovely shot. That's a lovely shot. He kept him quite in with him. Oh, hello, a double, double bouncer. It's like lightning down there. Oh, that is a magnificent Put shot from Pinky. Flat six. Flat six. Pinky's just hit the ball straight down Owen Reese's throat. We made no mistake. And he's gone. That's a magnificent, uh, yeah, so good, uh, about 120 or something. Superb, superb. Saga Meta has just come on the bowl and batsman just hit the ball straight at Owen Reese's, took another absolute blinder. Has this match got some more twists and turns in it yet? I think it might have. But yeah, I'm not getting them on film. So they only need 15 or so to win, but this is now a completely different ball game with those two wickets. Um, because, uh, well, there's these two lads out there and not a huge amount to come. We've got Matt Harris, who we all know, and then we've got Dano Robinson, who's been on the old rum and coke for the last two hours. Oh, that's leaked away through point. It's going to be a couple. Could go for a third. Uh, should have been. Great stop there from Andy. 
Just 12 to win now, but uh, four wickets left and Saga, well, you know, makes things happen. Already picked up two wickets with this, uh, well, what would you call it? Dibbly dobbly, that? There's four over the top. That makes things a little easier. Eight to win. Catch. And he did. So, another little twist here. Eight to win, only three wickets left. Saggy has just got three wickets in, uh, what? This is his third over, amazing. So Richard Key, second 11 skipper is on. Bowls to Nathan, dot ball. Eight to win, three wickets left. That's a nice shot. Just for the one. So Otis Sinclair, opening bowler. He uh, can hit a long ball apparently. I've never seen him bat. Oh, and that's a short one from Keezy. Got away with it, I think. Just the one by. Or not. Leg by. Six to win, I think. Oh. So, Richard Key, there he is. He bats, he bowls, he skippers the side. He uh, does the maintenance. Swings it both ways. And the ball. Oh, that's just an easy single there. What's going on here? Got to put the pressure on the new bat. Five to win. Saga, golden arm, comes on. And that's a poor ball, actually. Um, just a couple. Oh, well bowled. A little bit of wobble there. Again, short ball. Feel probably not in the right place, and that's... Oh, it's pulled up. It's a couple. I think that score's level. Scores a level. Keezy around the wicket. This could be it. Well, it is in one sense. Wow. Um, well, Otis goes. That's now eight down. And Matt Harris strides into the middle. He's only got to score one run. But uh, I wonder how we'll try and do it. Put a six into the school. I don't know. Fascinating. What a great end. Matt Harris, can he score the winning run? It's no problem at all. Smokes it down to, uh, well, no man's land. Square leg somewhere. Two runs, that's it. Victory for the uh, Boomer 11 versus the Richard Key 11. Splendid uh, pre-season practice game. Some good stuff, an excellent 100 from Ryan. Uh, brilliant batting from Rory and excellent keeping. Uh, Jack Dinning batted incredibly well, looks superb. Yeah, a lot of stuff's happened. Really, really, really good game. And played, well, not only in good spirit, but also quite competitively. It wasn't treated like a Mickey Mouse practice game. They really yeah, went Harris for this. Hitting it when he Very good. Well, while the players go off to their changing room and the sunset, we're going to have a look to see what's happening in, uh, in the bar. Find some pilgrim. And why not?